All right, here we go. Part 11. We're just gonna go past here. I'll pass all the fire keys and just go over here. Hi, Fox. I've been studying the ancient records of this planet, and you might be interested to hear this. This temple has been built on a force point, a point where pure magical energy is forced up from within the core of the planet. This energy is so powerful that it continually attempts to break the planet apart. To stop this, the ancient Crusoe placed two spell stones inside the temple to absorb the energy. When General Scales removed the stones, the planet began to fall apart. By returning the spell stones back to the temple, you will bring the planet together once more. Peppy out. All right, so you're gonna go here, and you're gonna place your stealth stone here. And it will open that door over there. But before we go over there, you my guys must have get uh whatever. I'll just climb up there. Uh, climb on here. Come on, come on. Darn it. Come on, Fox. Okay. Take out your ice staff, first of all, before you do anything. And place, set that to... Oh, come on. Come on. So I lost off my health trying to get this one stupid, uh... This one stupid little fuel cell, but it was completely worth it. By completely worth it, I mean not completely worth it at all, but... Dang it! Seriously? Alright. Well, if I seriously die trying to get this one fuel cell, this would be totally not worth it. But, eh, I mean, whatever. Yeah, right there. Okay. So after you do that, of course you take this. Take this on, just to cool it down. And walk across. I need some more magic, actually. Well, not really. Eh, I don't need any more magic. I don't think. Just... Yeah, I do, actually. I do need, I do need more magic, slightly. So grab that. And head on your way through this door, and you will continue on to the Fire Force Point Temple. Watch out for the fire geysers, they shoot up pretty, pretty sporadically. Health is here on the way, so just grab that, grab as much health as you can, grab as much magic as you can, grab some more health over here, if you can. And, walk over here. Wait, is this where I just came from? No, this isn't where I just came from, is it? Can't be. Oh, so it is. Wow, I went around in circles. Yay! I am so cool. Okay, what you're supposed to do is go over... Wait, oh. Duh. Alright, well, I thought there was a door opening to you go. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of things. Yeah, it's not really much to talk about. Pretty much you're just going in a straight line this whole time, and... Wait a sec. Oh, now I have to. Okay, now I know there. I knew there was a ladder around here, so I had to go upstairs. The ladder is here, and since that's blocked off, you have to actually unlight all these torches that you see up here. It's fucking stop climbing. I do like the effort they put into the climbing, though. You can actually, he actually grabs onto the ladder, so that's pretty impressive. Why do I have to? Re I already have it signed to it. Why do I have to reassign it? I didn't have to reassign it, but I don't know why. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore over that and that looks like a fuel cell to me there for a second but it wasn't it was just to refill my magic no big deal i already have enough of those little fight what where did that guy come from he came out of nowhere what yeah, i'm not even gonna ask i just didn't see anything what the what did i get damaged from i don't even know seriously whatever i i seriously somehow lost health i don't even know where i lost health from Either way, just go over here, now you blew this little thing off, and now I can continue on. Kill off these guys. Yeah, these guys seriously are a really good pain, because you can't really just, if, yeah. They're a lot harder to hit than the other guys. Come on. Alright, got it. You have to be very careful. Very careful. You have to, you have to be like right on if you're not. They're really easy to hit hard. But really easy to get hit by. These guys still suck. They always suck. So. And then you blew off that little factory. Why am I just like mumbling all over the place today? 
Now, Tricky is not going to follow you over here, and don't matter if you get hit by fire, it doesn't matter because it's only health. It's all health, that's all it is. Tricky is so scared, oh, what's he going to do? I can't go over there, I'm too scared. Okay, f wait a minute. Get out of your fire blaster again for the first time in a while. Hit that switch. It'll line itself to the center. Hit that switch. It'll line itself to the center too. And then Tricky will jump across. Because you need him to actually light this little torch here. Come on, Tricky. Flame. Use flame. Alright. So just continue on here. Go down this path, this cave. This cave, what does it lead to? You get up to the top here, and you see little magic happening here. You stupid little jerk. Seriously, you always get in my way. Box, need box, need health. Alright, I think I'm good health. I think I'm good I think I'm in good health at the moment. Wait up, oh, I forgot something. Over here, another fuel cell. That's right. We only need five more. Five more for the stupid quest and we're done. Only five more fuel cells. We're getting we're making some awesome progress. Where do you come from? Seriously, I didn't even see whatever, just go in here. Now where did this take me? Where did this warp me to? Well, you're gonna go ahead and find out right now. Unless you already know, but eh. You're gonna place a spell stone right here. This is where you actually place them, not just open doors. This is where you actually place it. And a cute little cutscene. So then it warps you back here, you have to go all the way back, all the way back to the Volcano Force Point Temple again. But first, restore your health, because you may not make it through the end. Well actually, there's not, there's not anything different at all, you're just backtracking your way through the end here. I might actually cut this part out, because backtracking is- oh wait, no, there's one point I actually have to backtrack here. Because now that we actually have a freeze ability, we can actually get a new power up. Well not a new power up, we can get more, two more fuel cells, so we only need three left. But if you guys aren't don't really know what I'm talking about, well, you'll see. Just go down here again. Down this little crappy fire chute. Follow this little bridge here. Avoid the fire keys. Not really much to avoid. Can't really avoid them. I could light them on ice, but I'm not going to, so I don't really care too much enough to. And just use the staff booster. Go up here. And we can open the second door. We cannot open the third door yet, so don't even ask. Wait. There we go. Come on, lay that up. And grab the two fuel cells. We only need... What is it to me to hit detection on... Seriously! Grab it! Grab it! Okay. Okay, so we need three more of these. We only need three more fuel cells and we are done with that side quest. Oh man, cannot wait for this. Alright. So now I'm just going to walk the rest of the way back and I'll meet you there. Ugh. Okay, now once we get out here, we're going to get another cutscene. We're at Moon Mountain Pass. Let's go ahead and get out here and watch the little cutscene unfold. Once you actually walk here. Can you hear that? <laughs> Akrazoa. Do you wish to accept our test? What is it talking about? What test? I was released when she completed my test. But she is now in great danger. And for her to survive, you must continue what she started. And collect the remaining Krizoa spirits. For only the pure of heart can enter our shrines. I can't just stop now to save this stranger. The planet is falling apart. She 
Sounds like she's in big trouble, Fox. Find the remaining five Krizoa shrines. Complete the test within each, and bring the spirits to Krizoa Palace. The Warp Stone can get you there. When all spirits are returned, she will be saved. She is depending on you for her life. Do you want to play a game? Defeat the creature to collect a moon seed. I guess we'd better help her. I guess, yeah, you're right. Best guess we better help her. Do we have much of a choice? Of course not. Anyway, just go in here one last time. I think this is probably we're gonna end. Actually, no, we still have plenty of time after this. So just go in here and lift up this rock, and you'll feel a rumble. We'll get another staff upgrade. We're just getting these all over the place, aren't we? So this staff upgrade is not just an energy meter increase, like you all probably think it is, or maybe none of you think it is. Whatever. This is an actual staff upgrade again. So which one is this? Well, let's find out. You have collected the Ground Quake. Unleash energy that can stun the strongest of bad guys. Access the C inventory and press A to use it. You can also assign it to Y for instant access. Once again, I would suggest assign it to Y because we're going to be using this quite often in this game. Well, this part of the game anyway. So just assign it to Y for now. We'll just assign the regular blaster back to Y eventually. But not at the moment. So let's get out of here. And we'll continue on to Moon Mountain Pass. Where, where am I? So this is the stupid little foggy cave, foggy cave of nothingness, and use it. What? He's gonna, he's gonna wail around like an idiot. Hit him. And then he uses use it again a second time. You need two of these to hit him, to kill him rather. And you'll get a new item. You've collected a moon seed. Plant them in soft earth because they are seeds of darkness. You'll need something hot and bright to make them grow. If that wasn't an obvious enough clue, well, let me put it to you bluntly. You need fire. If all else fails, use fire. Anyway, just go ahead and use your moon seed wherever the crap it is in my inventory. There it is. Take tricky. And use flame. You kill these guys as many times as you need to because they keep on respawning. So if you need another moon seed, just grab another moon seed. That's all there is to it. In fact, give me another moon seed. Wait. I didn't need to use it twice yet. I didn't hit you yet. Crap. Okay, well, that was a waste of time. These guys are just really annoying. Seriously. Alright, so again, at least we don't have to see a constant annoying cutscene every time we collect one of those. At least that's something, right? I will climb up here now. If it wasn't obvious enough to you to climb up here, well, that's pretty much all you do is you climb up here. And you will continue on to your quest over here. You'll see all these little platforms you go on, all these different things. Lots of stuff to explore, lots of stuff to get. And there are a lot of Bafom Dads you get around here too, so look out for those. Let's place another Moon Seed here, actually. Moon Seed, place there. Tricky. Tricky. Use fire. Flame. Come on, burn it! Burn it all! Wait, alright. Climb up here. I forget if there's anything up here. I'm not sure. I know a lot of these vines take you to the useless places. Some of them don't. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that could work out pretty well. So good, more magic for me. Alright. That's nice. Go in this little cave here. Just follow the path. Come on. And it'll take you out and give you a Bafom Dad there. So that's one Bafom Dad. That's right. You already have one Bafom Dad more than you had before. So you're making pretty good progress. Give me another moon seed. No, nope, I said press. No, I didn't want to sign that. No. Nope. Okay. Come on. Let me it again. And hit him again. All right. So now we have one moon seed, and I think that's actually going to be calling. I'm actually going to call it off there. So as we go. 
So as we continue on next time, we're actually going to be continuing on and going further. Wait. Am I going? No. I so I have to go up there. Okay. I guess I do climb. You do have to climb this. Okay. I don't need another moon seed yet. Get away from me. If I can actually get to where I need to go, I can save and show you guys next time where I have to let off. But, alright, so we continue on further here. We'll be doing that next time, so see you then.